So today's video, I wanna to talk to you about all of the tanks that I have here at Universal Rocks and what is going to happen with these fish. The heat is getting too crazy and it's very hard to control anything that is happening in the aquarium room. I mean, it's hot. Wait a minute, I see somebody you may know. And if you don't, subscribe to his channel. I'm a comma, 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 chameleon. Wait till you see it. Yeah, we gotta film. <laughs> it may be hard to see me, but I'm gonna show you the tanks which have lights so it's easy. Now, let's get started on what's happening. So the 500 gallon Predator tank, nothing's gonna happen. For some reason, it must be the size of the aquarium, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with these fish. They seem to be thriving. They're not going crazy on each other. You know, we've got some that are a little bit uh, brutish. Look at them. Give me food, give me food. But overall, this tank is going to stay the way it is here at Universal Rocks. Okay, so I felt bad they're begging, so let's feed. Just feeding some leftover arowana pellets. Well, I should say sticks. Yeah, they seem to enjoy them. Look at this guy. My goodness. It's like watching a shark, or should I say barracuda. Next up to bat is the breeding tank. This is gonna stay here because there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Got the male. Here's the old male, he got his butt kicked. He's still trying to hold on, but if I move him out, there's no way I can move him back in. So I'm gonna let nature take its course. I think I have one more male up here. Evaporation in this room happens. It is extremely warm, which is why I have to remove some of the fish. However, if you're interested in this breeding group, I've said it before, they've successfully bred. They just need to go to somebody that can really give them a nice controlled environment they will do exceptionally well and this male is going to be a stunner just uh, message me you know how to get a hold of me facebook or instagram so this tank's got to go it's too hot the angels are beating the snot out of each other and somebody has offed most of the neon tetras i would suspect it is the lemon tetras they've gotten large and they are beautiful uh, the panda quarries are doing well they're still breeding i've got a ton of little babies running around so if you're local, you're interested, hit me up. If you're not local, uh, we can try to ship. Uh, however, it's gonna be tough for me because I don't have a lot of the resources, uh, but we can figure it out. So message me on Facebook or Instagram, but everything's gotta go. But this guy's got a little bit of yellow. That's right, we've got Lalupe in here. We've got the Compressiceps and we've got our Julidochromis in here and our Brevis, they're all doing well. Everybody seems to be, uh, they're thriving in here. However, I wanna bring them home. I want a Tanganyikan tank at home. And since we're gonna discuss what we're doing with the Trophius, they're coming home. I would also like to get these guys in the same tank uh, for the time being. I don't recommend this, but this is something that I must do right now in order to, one, make sure my fish stay healthy, and two, um, I can keep them all together till I can find out where I'm going to put what fish and what I'm going to be doing. We've tried AC, coolers. Nothing seems to work in terms of controlled environment. It's tough. I can't figure it out. We've tried everything under the sun from tarping to cool to coolers to AC. It's not good for the fish. And so you have to figure it out. And the only way to figure it out is to bring most of them home that aren't doing as well. And so that's what we're gonna do. Let's go look at the last tank. All right, folks, all of these guys are coming home and there's not many left. Three Trophius and two Eremotus, the Gobies. There may be one or two behind, I'm hoping, uh, but we're really just gonna create a weird style 75 gallon community with some Trophius and Gobi for the time being. Not recommended long-term, but until I can figure some stuff out. Uh, that's what we're gonna be doing. So I never get packages with my name on it. And the carrier or whoever sent it is from New Jersey. It might be a joke. And I think it should be on camera. Okay. This is Ben's knife. <laughs> so let's check this bad boy out. I swear, if something pops out, I'm gonna freak. The last time I did this, somebody actually sent my kid a bunch of stuff. Um, Middletown Cichlids, great dude, Taylor Boone. He sent my kid a bunch of stuff in a 
Ninja Turtle box. I thought I had fish delivered. <laughs> Someone just sent me a freaking camera. I, I don't even know what to say. So I had to come outside for a second. Um, somebody sent me a Canon M50 camera with a ton of accessories. There's no words to express the gratitude that I have to whoever did this. I don't, it doesn't matter who did it. It was the act in which they did. I've never asked for anything. I don't, I don't necessarily need anything. Do I need a camera? Yeah, I use my phone all the time. I've told people that. I've been looking at cameras, but to receive a camera of this caliber is something beyond words can express. However, I'm super stoked. There's a newfound energy. And to who you are, whoever you are, I will never be able to thank you enough. I will never be able to show the gratitude in which you gave. I try to be the best emulation of what I want to see in the world by helping folks get back on their feet and giving them a hand up instead of a hand out. I do that all the time. And I never once ask for anything in return. But boy, when you receive something of, of any caliber to include this, I don't even know what to say. So thank you. Thank you for your act of kindness. Thank you for the, I guess, the, the investment in me to make better videos, to, to have high quality videos, to continue to put out great content. If that was your intention, oh, it's gonna happen. And I thank you. It's gonna take time, I need to learn that camera, but I'm so very grateful. I'm gonna end here. I've got a little surprise because there was a family. The Bonzel showed up on wife Bonzel's birthday. We gave her some chocolate chip cookies. We thanked him and two of their kids wanted to do the ending. So here goes. You know what's next. Holla. Holla. Yeah.